Hi, I'm Gabby, and you're watching Likha. In this video, we will journey through the learning process of watercolor. Hi, these are the materials that we would be using. Una is yung watercolor pad, and I have the Berkeley watercolor pad na cannot go into smaller pieces para mas madaling gamitin. Next naman is yung Pram Oval 16 na watercolor. May iba't ibang types yun, may tube or yung may ganyang type. For me, mas nadadalian akong gumamit ng ganitong type ng watercolor. And then, syempre, kailangan din natin ng brushes. Pwede naman kahit ano, gaano kalaki or kaliit or if it's a round brush, a flat brush. Tapos, kailangan natin ng palette and water. So, pwede naman natin ilagay yung water dun mismo sa palette or a separate glass or cup para paglinisan ng brushes. And then, kailangan din natin ng washi tape, pencil, and an eraser. Ayun lang! So, ayun. Lesson 1 would be all about brushes and strokes. And it includes different techniques katulad ng wet on wet, wet on dry, splatter, and brush control. Tapos, yung brush control naman, meron pang iba't ibang kinds of strokes na nakapaloob dun, like thick and thin, wrist flick, and etc. So, let's start na. Woo! So, yung first three techniques na ginawa ko for lesson one, nilagay ko sila sa isang paper para mas madali ko sila malagyan ng label and para na rin mas madali yung mga borders and divisions. So, for the wet on wet technique, una ko munang ginawa is naglagay ng water sa paper at gumawa ng two rectangles out of the water. Yung technique na yun is we add wet paint to a wet surface. And then after putting yung wet surface, gagawa tayo ng two kinds. Yung unang kind is, it's a swipe lang natin yung brush from left to right. And then yung pangalawa ko namang ginawa is, naglagay ako ng dots. And makikita nyo na parang nagfa-flow and nagsaspread yung dots since basa yung surface. So, for the next technique na ginawa ko, which is the wet on dry technique, ginawa ko lang is normal na dry surface with wet paint. And then, sa paint, iniba-iba yung dami ng water. So, may isang mas maraming water, yung isa equal amounts of water and paint, and yung isa naman mas maraming paint. And napansin ko habang ginagawa ko yun is pwede kong gamitin yung opacity ng mga paint na yun for different purposes kapag gagawa na ako ng outputs. Para naman sa third technique or yung splatter, pwede kang gumamit ng kamay or your fingers. Pwede mo rin gamitin yung extra watercolor brush na meron kayo. If ginagamit nyo lang yung kamay nyo, ang gagawin is after nyo malagyan ng paint, yung original paint brush, lalagay lang natin sa tip ng brush and gagawa tayo ng parang kinakalabit na motion para mag-splatter yung paint dun sa paper. Tapos naman, yung sa isa pang paint brush, pwede natin gawin is itatapik natin yung second paint brush mo dun sa first paint brush with the paint. So, ang mayayari nun is mahulog yung paint droplets and magkakaroon ng splatter effect dun sa paper mo. And ayun na yung first three techniques. Para sa brush control part naman ng lesson 1, so una ko munang ginawa is yung bands of color. Ang goal lang dito is mag-focus na magkaroon ng same thick thickness ng paint gamit ng brush na gamit mo. So, through that exercise, mas makakatulong siya sa pressure na nilalagay mo sa pag-paint. And then, medyo similar doon yung next, which is yung thick and thin. So, sa thick and thin naman, parang siyang calligraphy since parang may light pressure and darker pressure. So, to be honest, nahirapan ako sa part na to since nung first few tries ko, hindi siya mukhang thick and thin. Mukha lang siyang thick. Pero, the more that I practice it, 
the more that it looked better naman na. So, next naman is yung wrist flick na most of the time nakikita ko sa mga grass and the feathers ng mga birds. According dun sa article na binasa ko, medyo mahirap daw siya gawin. And I think kailangan ng medyo light hand para magawa siya ng super ganda. So, ang ginawa ko is nilagay ko yung non-dominant hand ko sa my table and then pinatong ko yung dominant hand ko na may paintbrush dun sa left hand. Ang nangyayari nun is light yung pressure na nilalagay mo. And then, after nun, imumove mo lang yung wrist mo. And then, ayun, magkakaroon na ng wrist flick motion. Nakailang tries din ako dito since medyo same lang yung kapal nung mga blades of grass na napipaint ko. Pero, it turned out well naman. And then, the last exercise that I did was yung cutting edges. Basically, gumawa lang ako ng mga shape and as much as possible, ginawa ko siya with one stroke like sa circle. And I tried my best na gawin siya with the smallest amount of brush strokes. So, napapractice yung pagkakaroon ng steady hand and focus. And our lesson number two is called colors. Yung mga nakapaloob dito na techniques is yung flat wash, graded wash, creating gradients, and building up color. Para sa second lesson, nilagay ko ulit lahat ng techniques sa isang paper. And then, nagsimula ako sa building up color technique. So, ang ginawa doon is, magsastart muna ako sa plain water with like a drop of color lang ganun. And then, gradually kong in-increase yung color and yung paint para maging saturated. And dahil doon, magkakaroon siya ng ombre effect. Seamless na gradual na from very light to opaque. Tapos yung next naman is yung graded wash. Para lang siyang building up color pero instead from light to dark, uunahin mo muna maglagay ng dark to light. And then after ko ginawa yung graded wash, ginawa ko yung flat wash. Basically, the majority of watercolor painting. Ang goal lang naman dito is magkaroon ng singular color and hindi siya yung blotchy. As much as possible, kagawin natin siyang even. Solid lang yung hue ng paint. Sa last naman, which is yung creating gradient, is na from light to dark or dark to light, gagawin natin is from color 1 to color 2. Ang um, kailangan lang gawin is maghanap ng color as much as possible na magkalapit sa color wheel para yung magiging result niya vibrant pa rin. Kasi if we use contrasting colors, sometimes magmumukha lang muddy yung output. So, I just finished lesson 2. And so far, mar marami rami naman na nagawa for practice. For, from lesson one, ito, from the brush controls and brush strokes, ayan, wet on wet, wet on dry, at saka splatter. And then for lesson two naman, ito yung isa, yung pinag-practicean ko. And then, ito, ito, was the second time na ginawa ko yung gradient or graded wash. Then, ito naman yung flat wash and yung creating gradients. And ito yung building up color. So, since it's getting kind of late na, I'll do my requirements and I'll do the outputs and the third and final lesson tomorrow. So, ayun, bye! So, for the third and last lesson naman, ang gagawin natin would be painting with some household materials such as salt, alcohol, and cling wrap. So, try natin. For our third and last lesson, una muna natin gawin is to get our household materials. And then, once na nagawa na natin yun, pwede na tayo mag-start mag-paint ng tatlong rectangle sa paper. Sa so, una rectangle, lalagyan natin ng salt sa ibabaw. And what it does is, it creates texture dun sa magiging painting mo. And then, sa second rectangle naman, ididip natin yung cotton bud or end ng brush sa alcohol and ilalagay natin dun sa wet paint. 
and nagkakaroon siya ng paghiwalay, kumihiwalay yung paint dun sa area na yun. So, nagsuspread out siya. And then, for the last rectangle naman, kukuha tayo ng medyo maliit na size ng cling wrap. And then, isuscrunch up natin siya and ilalagay natin sa ibabaw ng wet paint. And yun ang nangyayari dun is may mga certain parts ng paint na magsasama-sama. Nagkakaroon siya ng texture and iba't ibang kapal. So, may mga ibang areas na makikita mo na maraming paint na nandun. I just want you to know na the time it takes for someone to learn a new hobby or explore something new can differ naman depende sa person. Like, personally ako, gusto kong dire-direcho ako nag-aaral ng bagong hobby. Pero may iba rin naman, or sometimes, um, mas prefer ko rin yung inuunti-unti ko yung pag-aaral ko and yung pag-iis ko dun sa new hobby na yan. And that's okay, kasi progress is still progress naman. And what matters is, nag enjoy ka mag-aral, and marami ka natututuhan dun sa pag-aral mo ng new hobby na yun. So, take your time lang, and enjoy! That's all and thank you for watching! If you're interested in this art medium, you should also check out the other videos of my groupmates in the YouTube channel.